It is Thursday, November 2nd, and I cannot believe that I get to play the Talos Principle 2. Talos Principle 1 is one of my 10 out of 10 games. I don't have like a sequential list of here's my number one game, my number two game, my number three game. I don't have a top 10 list. I have a list of games that broach into the 10 out of 10 category, and Talos Principle, the original one, is one such game. One of the reasons why I love Talos Principle so much is, first of all, it's a puzzle game that tried to thoughtfully construct a world and a narrative and a feel to it. So often puzzle games are so focused on the puzzle themselves that it's just this intellectual cerebral satisfaction and nothing more. In Talos Principle, the original one, I just kept wanting to keep going and going and going and learn more about what was going on and, you know, continue to experience the, the, the resonance and the aesthetic of the game. Another reason why I love the original Talos Principle is that the, the way the puzzles worked had this sort of beautiful dynamism and wiggle room. Lots of puzzle games kind of operate on like tile grids, or there are four buttons to press that must be pressed in a very exacting order, and then, you know, the, the, the door opens. There's so much discrete, not as in like be subtle, be discrete, but as in the mathematical D, like discrete, like whole number, not continuous. If you don't know what discrete means, I don't, then turn off the stream. Anyways, uh, so many puzzles are just like this focus on discrete elements, small numbers of discrete elements interplaying in some way, but the original Talos Principle had puzzles that had a lot of like continuous placement and angles and aiming, which just made the, the like solutions really interesting, it allowed for these sort of meta puzzles that existed in the region outside of each individual puzzle zone. And frankly, I did love the fact that the game Original Tiles Principle had like section one, puzzle A, B, C, D. Section two, puzzle A, B, C, right? Where it kind of really structured it. I like levels. New game. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We'll see if it opens. When I opened the menu, I saw many of you say this, but when I opened the game originally, just to get to the opening menu took like four or five minutes of extremely low frame rate. <laughs> Prophet hath no honor in his own country. John 4, 4, 4. I've always felt that a human being could only be saved by another human being. Initializing firmware, firmware functional, loading autonomous program parameters. Loaded, system check, dot 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 passed. Initializing memory banks, dot, 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 dot. Starting autonomous process, dot, 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 Already. It's me, Robo9. Oh, look at my knees. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh. Behold, child. What up, Elohim? You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. You jump. Nice. So let me let me do uh, some brief options in my video. I do want vertical sync on because I've been seeing so much screen tearing on there. Uh, I'm gonna get this field of view to be at like 85. Better. Dude, look at the graphics. This is how I remember Talos Principle 1. New PC tomorrow, that's right, that has no head. We are installing a new PSA. Oh, and? Tell me more, Elohim. Dream Krungle says, I was 18 when I watched you play this. Welcome. How's, how am I treating your adulthood? Oh my god, it's a jammer. Oh my god, yes. Jam. 
Okay, so here's what I mean by one of the reasons why I liked these games so much. So in terms of like a puzzle space, I'm gonna uh, I, I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna draw this. Oh my God, is it MS Paint twice in one stream? Hold on, hold on. Let me get the field of view of MS Paint working correctly. So like, let's imagine that we have we have a room. Actually, no, let's do this. Let's imagine we have a red door, and we have a room shaped like this. And then we have another room over here. So there's this red door that exists between them. And we might imagine something like a red key that's here. So the shape of the rooms in this puzzle does not matter at all. Because all that matters is that you are in here and you can't get in here. And if you get the key, then you can open this up and then you can actually make your way through. So the shape of the rooms doesn't matter. And so, you know, mathematically, we, we would model this as you have a room and a room, and there's a link between them that has some sort of red door blocking them. Doesn't matter what the shape is. And by doesn't matter what the shape is, I mean this shape of room, in terms of the puzzle solvingness, this has the exact same quality of just find the key and open this as this one does. The arrangement and shape of the room doesn't matter. But in, in the Talos Principle, where'd my jammer go? Like suddenly you start to be able to get angles of things that matter. Like it, this is an instance of it not really mattering that much. Like here, it could come up. Here it could come up. It seems kind of mostly equivalent. But when you start having uh, uh, elements in Talos Principle 1 that could, like, aim, suddenly, like, imagine if this jammer jammed everything that it fired through. Suddenly, this angle really matters because I can jam this door and jam that one behind it. So, like, oh, no. How do I... Oh, this isn't a, this isn't a door. Okay. Oh, I remember. These, these are the doors that if you walk through with a jammer object, it, like, won't... <laughs> All right, fine. You see his little glitch. All right. Space, jump here. Yay! Yay! Yeah! All right! Give me this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, by the way, d does the stream look okay to you? Every once in a while, the game hangs for, like, two secs. But this is also another thing that I loved in Talos Principle 1 that is clearly here in Talos Principle 2. Look at how beautiful this design is. Weird and otherworldly and atmospheric. Oh, it's so good. This land is but a dream. I know. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Snake, press the action button. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna be fiddling with this field of view a little bit over time because I, I get motion sick so easily. I cannot stress it to you enough. How motion sick I get. Use a ranger? Oh. So we're gonna need to solve some puzzles. Nice. I want that piece. All right, we're gonna we're gonna continue to do this. This is gonna be the game. This is the first puzzle. I'm gonna go to eighty. All right.
Alright, so I'm basically just going to get three of these things and hop my way up this. Or maybe it wants me to go direct. I see. It wants me to go direct because this is a little lower. This is a little higher, huh? So we're going to set this one down here. We're going to get this other block box. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world... Well done, my child. That the new world... Hold that thought. You're doing great, my child. Oh, yeah, and this is a game where if I, you hold shift, your character absolutely bolts. And this, this is a puzzle game where I actually feel like that the shift button was like the most necessary feature because they make these worlds gigantic. Fencing. All right. Hey. So I can jump over this. So let, let us see here. So I have two fences. So I can't can't quite jump up this high. But if I had a third one, I plausibly could. So the puzzle is going to be, how do I get that one through there? And obviously if I go through here, I'm pretty sure it just crashes out. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, Day9, he's just too good at puzzle games. I was born to puzzle game. Also, this field of view is literally so close to my face. I, I mean, I'm, I am I feel ill. I'm gonna go back to 90. I think 90 was maybe my best bet. Day9, Day9, yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh. All right, we're killing it. We're killing the game. Within reach. All right, so let's take a look. We got a puzzle. We got a puzzle. All right. Too good. Too good. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. Neither is this game. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Yes. So this, I should now be able to open up. Oops. Yes, hello. I love you. All right. All right, so now we're on to the yellow puzzle pieces. Oh, this game is just so satisfying. Static pressure. Oh. Hey, I remember these. All right. Is there is there anything else here? Huh, so I'm trying to let me see if I can get really close to the edge here. Looks like, looks like I can't just glitch my way through here. Oh, detach fan. Oh, I can detach the fan. Boom, there it is. Give me this. Get, get me, come here. Get there. Oh, get this. Put it down there. Bam, there it is. Now I get my... So that gets to that height. So I can just like. Oh, 
Oh, I see. So what I need to do... Jump here. I see. I see the puzzle. So here's the puzzle. We're going to put this down, we're going to put this on here, and then we're going to hold this. Oops. We're going to stand from this angle, we're going to jump here. So now when I put this down, I'm on a box that's in the air, and I can just jump. Oh! Oh! There's a lot of really small things that this game does that I feel like is just divine demonstration of understanding who you're making your game for. Because let me tell you an argument that I think sucks when there's a designer, or let's be more honest, there's an armchair Redditor who is evaluating a game. And the game is bad, and they say, well, it's just, it's not for that audience. Maybe it's just for a different audience. There's this sort of like, well, isn't everything subjective? Isn't the sound of grating metal someone's favorite music because it's all just so subjective we can't make any claim at all? No, here's what I think it means when you say that you're designing something for a target audience. If you are a action-focused game where there is, ah, a lot of like, let's say first-person shooter style aiming where you're trying to like flick, react type stuff, and then you create a rocket. Hey, a new weapon that also aligns well with sort of twitching, aiming, firing behavior. But now you have to sort of estimate it over time. And then you add jumping and, oops, you add jumping and double jumping. So suddenly the ability to like choose how to maneuver in the air and where exactly you're going to jump from to land on the platform, to then double jump to land on the next platform to turn and shoot the guy. All these things are sort of consistent with this aiming and timing. Whether it is of shooting or whether it is of jumping, it's aiming and timing, it's action. This is a puzzle game. So you can see that as I'm jumping around, it's freeform, right? It's totally freeform. I can just jump and move wherever I want. But then when it comes to having me jump on something, it actually puts the feet there. And I can just press space and the game will just perfectly jump on top. That is like perfect for someone who is like more puzzle focused because in this situation, let's imagine I'm on here and I do this. Look at how little space I have to make a running jump. I have played puzzle games where this is the correct solution. You get up here, and then you're supposed to run and jump and land there. But I try it, and I just happen to suck at that. And, you know, you can imagine if I was just trying to jump and I missed again, and I was like, oh, damn. So I, I've solved the puzzle. I actually have solved it. I am doing the solution, but I'm just not as good at it. And then I put this back down again, and let's say I try to run and I miss again, and I run and I miss again. Ah, oh my God. I might convince myself that I haven't solved the puzzle. But the fact that this game just says, space, jump here, it's just, it, it's eliminating potential ambiguity that maybe I didn't do it correct. It's eliminating potential ambiguity of, it is, is it my jumping? That's the problem. It's just getting all that out of the way and going, yes, you did the stuff that I want you to do. You're doing great. Oh, let me, oh, look out. Oh, oh, okay. Detachable? No. Ooh. So I need to take this fan that I was using as a weight and I need to bring it up. So let me just go up like this. Oops. Jump. Very good. Thanks, Elohim. And dude, little small things like this, like, dude, you did it. You've done this one. It's fine to be there. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we got lasers. 
Oh, oh, it's winding me. Oh. And he here's another example of the sort of fuzziness that I like. This takes some time to turn back on. So it's just like, it's like a little bit of more wiggle room, a little more degrees of freedom. Ugh, big yawns for a little Sean. I'm a very yawny bear today. Okay, so this... There's a button here. Okay. So that's to show me how that works. Let me, I, I'm gonna do something extreme. I'm gonna way drop this down to like 60 because like, I, I'm just getting some motion sickness. Oh my God, this is definitely wrong. <laughs> okay, I found, I discovered that I'm doing the wrong thing. You know what? Maybe they were right at 75. Maybe they were right at 75. I just I just cannot get this right. It feel it feels like very close. Let's just let's just go up by five at a time. Versatile contraption. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Day two of power hot, how is it? Well, I have successfully drank no calories. And you know, I th there's something that this is gonna sound so dumb. No, it's not. It's gonna sound sophisticated, awesome, and educational, and something that all of you are gonna be jealous about after you hear me say it. I really like intense sensations like really spicy food, alcoholic drinks, bubbly drinks. I just I like or like really cold water, really hot water. I really like that sort of intensity. And if I'm saying drink no calories and I don't want to have a really sweet soda or like a rich soju. Um, I, I never like saying I'm not gonna do that. I like saying I'm gonna replace that with something else. And I'm, I'm getting into the idea of tea. Wait a damn minute, is this what it's gonna show me how to do? Look at that, jam it. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be consuming copious amounts of flavored water. Uh, I'm so sorry to keep doing this. I, I just cannot quite get it right. Back. Save. And close. So let's see, what's over this way? Is this on? Yeah, this is on. So. So we need to somehow. Hmm, okay, so this, this I feel like is correct because we literally can't proceed otherwise. So we have to do this. Can this jam both? Oh man, some of these really basic puzzles took me so long when I first started playing this game. Good puzzle. 
So if I do like this and jam here, I literally can't advance at all. So I, I'm willing to conclude that this is this is it. This is what we gotta do. I'm going to conclude this. So I think that I neglected to figure out what happens when I look around this room a little bit more. How do I get you out? Oh, this is... This is a purple door. This is a purple door. This is not a blue door. This is a purple door. So, this means that I can't actually walk through with this. But I can do things with it from here. You're on my mouse, darling. I know, you're so mad. So, this is the infamous double jam. I have two things jamming this. So now I can pull this one through. And then I can jam this thing. And I can get the puzzle. Excellent. Billy Zane, good to see you here and in Up a Tree stream. This is Dear Day 9. It would appear today marks the 11 and 2 thirds years of me subscribing to this channel. Thank you for keeping me entertained. So many recurring decimals of years. Billy Zane, happy 140 months in a row. Oh my god, I literally am in what can only be described as hog heaven. I'm gonna do one more change of this, because I'm pretty sure it's 90. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go to 105. This is what I did in Fallout New Vegas, and I like that. Please, it's the most Loki ashamed. You see me flaming poor Sal in that chat. Well, he 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 invites it himself. I absolutely, when I go to Artosis's chat, start thinking about the Mario slash fic that I want to write. It's not bad. It's just how it works. All right, so I'm done here. And I love in the top left, it shows the, uh, how many of each thing I have done. So this is not the right one. This is for my red puzzles. Here's for the... I am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and right. sisters await you to oh, celebrate yes. your birth. All right, here, here's the continuous stuff I was talking about. And I can, like, stand here. Oh, it's so good. There's a connector. Right. Let's see what else is here. So we have this, and this opens up to the puzzle piece. Okay. So what I think that I'm going to do... So I'm going to put this one here. I mean, th this is like one of the exact mechanics that made me like, yo, this game is fucking sick. Mm. Mm, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Isn't that so nice, dude? Then there's like a lot of really weird puzzles where like you can do things in some cases where you will like connect this here and you can like see another connector through here. Oh, it's just, it's so good. So that's where I came in. Prismatic Diffraction.
Okay, so we have a little a little high guy up here. And this is opening up these gates. So if I can I actually get all three of these at an angle? I think the answer is yes. Yes. Oh my god. Dude, see this? This is like these mechanics I just think are brilliant. Brilliante. I think you need to be able to go fast. I think that, again, the fact that they are willing to use so much space is such a huge benefit to the design. Destructive interference. God, I remember even trying to do some of those, like, superstar puzzles. You have red to red, blue to blue. And my understanding is that you actually you can't cross... Like, if I connect these two things together, this will not work because if I do this and this together, they they collide. So let's see here. So here is another door that gives me a third connector. So this is straightforward to do because topologically, these two things don't intersect. Day night is such a math game. Come here, fucker. Okay, so we'll need one to go around and the other to go through. So why not just have the blue go through? From blue here to here. So here's the direct one. And then we get to pick this up. And because the red is now going around this way, we can connect this. Why am I tired? Despy. Excuse me, I'm gonna need I'm gonna slip my hand right under there. There you go. Now I have my hands on Wazdy. I did not expect the math talk today. Uh K N O T not. Ah uh, yeah. Topology is both incredibly straightforward and mind-meltingly complicated at the same time. Two colors, two doors. One cup. We all thought it. Any anytime you hear two of something, your brain is like one cup. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. Some Lufus says, how can it be almost ten years since the first game? Well. A big old adult. my little guy running around. That water does look fucking great, huh? Dude, I can't wait until I'm getting up at 6 and going to the gym every day. And all I do is go to the gym, work, stream, sleep, lose weight, look hot, call myself Sean Plot. All right. I, I'm not even paying attention to this puzzle. I'm just enjoying wandering around. So, collecting my resources over here. So here's where we have a blue laser. Ah. Okay, so I know what we need to do. So, here's the problem. This open this red opens this door. That red is needed to open this final door, because on the other side of this final door, there's the puzzle piece. But we need this blue laser, and we already know that blue lasers cannot intersect. So, what you can do, though, is you can put down this box 
have this connect to that, connect to this, and then be up on top. Oh, oh, didn't place it right. Boom. Oh yeah, and I, I, I want to just be clear about this uh, shark bait DLS. Um, a lot of people have not played through the first game, and I know it can be a little ambiguous about the spoilers, but we're kind of just making the executive decision that, like, unless I am talking about something and you're referencing, you have referenced something that I'm talking about, we want to try to err on the side of not spoiling, like, the ending of the first game. I think it's okay to talk about some mechanics in a light sense, like, wow, some of the big-scale environmental puzzles in the first one were so cool. Um, but, you know, I, I... First game was awesome in and of itself. UV Spire says, can I mention something about the controls? Uh, you know what? Yes, today, yes. I would love that. Ascension awaits. Am I ascending? Oh my god, am I going to yawn again? Huh. Okay. All right, I know how this one works. You can right-click on lasers to keep the connections on them. So I can right-click on lasers, so if I pick this up. Ah, so I can pick it up like that. Nice. So here's the puzzle. We place this box, we turn it on. It is now above the gate, so we can now get it. Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessels. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you. Never pet a burning dog. Dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Very good at these. That that works. Oh, this is not facing the correct way. So it should work on the mirror image of this. Be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. Mm -hmm. They are merely aspects of yourself, as am I, after a fashion. Well, dogs, isn't this a class of math problem? Shouldn't you be able to do them instantly? I, I am specifically very experienced in that type of um, object, a polyomino. <laughs> the, uh... If you watch my playthrough The Witness, you won't see me do anything except stare and then just draw the solution. Boom. Hey, why are you just taking up so much space today? All right. Where's your body in this game? Uh, I mean. It's right here. It's right here in front of you. Hey, give me this. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy to be playing the Talos Principle 2! This game is so fucking sick. What kind of exercise are you doing at the gym? Ackerman Levi, I'm gonna start off just kind of doing basic weights and just kind of like running. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. What? That's a little different than reading a terminal. Dude, I've played way too many point-and-click adventure games and Baldur's Gate 3. One is what I expect to be able to hit to this. What's going on? <sighs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up, and now you're here. Your body was completed. And rather confused. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see... We all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. Okay. So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. <laughs> then you're told your history, and at that point, your opinions don't feel like they matter very much, do they? <laughs> it's a funny little joke we like to play, play on our fellow AI. It's known as hazing. Of course. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? I'd like the long version, please. Oh, whoops, there's... So Excruciating detail. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves humans like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately, their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate, and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. This is a little on the nose. Let's find out they didn't they have advanced medicine too? That's something our historians still debate. Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. All right, so how are we here? A team led by a scientist called Alexandra Drennan began a project that was intended to create, well, us. Ush. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. Uh, oh, and it worked. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then created more of us, using the tools left behind by Drennan's team. Eventually, they started building the city of New Jerusalem. And what about me? Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it the Goal. The Garden Capital of Key Eden Creation Earth. Kit. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Oh, it was difficult, especially after she left us. But after a millennium or so, we finally succeeded. And that's you. Your number 1,000. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, I think that covers all the basics. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Ah, uh, what happened to the founder? No one really knows. At first, she was closely involved with everything that happened in the city. But gradually, she became more But distant. she sent out a press release Monday, saying she wanted to spend more vanished. time with her family. That was centuries ago. Ah, oh, my camera. By the way, new PC tomorrow. That's why That's why you're not going to see me going yeah, like this for much longer. There it is. Turn it off, turning it back on again. Not a bad angle, though. Thanks, Pink Pegasus. When you've dedicated to the quest for power hot, every angle should be a good angle. Nah, what I mean. Uh, tell me about yourself. Me? Well... As you can tell by my number, 33. I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She 
she and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Uh, will there be morning humans after me? You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. Controversy? The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now, New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. Until the thousandth invented you, factorio. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. Well, that depends on what Steam achievements I'm in the mood to get. Who is Elohim? He was the caretaker of the simulation that created the Founder. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. You will hear him whenever you enter sleep mode. Nothing to worry about, really. <laughs> Mudpunk says, reminds me of what you said a long time ago about teen fiction books that don't come up with names for things, but just add cap uh, capital casing to regular words to make them very special. I know, the goal. It is the goal. You are the baby with a capital B. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Uh, what we do now that the job is obsolete? I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and <laughs> this is... I like doing it. So sounds like uh, leadership teams in tech and, and gaming as of late. We'll see what happens. Well, we released this game, and I... Haven't really thought about it at this point, what we should really do. All right, I'm ready to get going. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. Or a crucial you tool like you. Functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. This is a departure from the last game. What? Mutualism social media. Please familiarize yourself with the following rules. Treat everyone with respect regardless of their number. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Founder, damn. <laughs> Athena, damn it. Um, oh my Athena. Oh my founder. All right, respect to the principles of the goal. The Our Frogs People discussion is now banned. Yeah, yep, mm hmm, mm hmm. That was a real Omega event. Uh, inactive threads will be archived. That's weird. That's not how it is. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators Jeremy, Niam, and Aronox. We got a good old dragon, baby. All right. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, your hard work and faith in the Founder's vision has finally paid off. At long last, the goal. Established so long ago will be reached, the 1,000th member of our family will be born and our beautiful city will finally be complete. And then Jeremy chimed in. He's like, it's space in the dam is limited. Tickets will be made available via lottery system. Celebration will also be streamed. Streamed on Twitch. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. This cat is awesome. I love this cat. I love you. Yeah, all right. Niam H is Irish. It's pronounced Neve. Um, I gotta disagree with that. I gotta just say that that's not true. This is this is pronounced Niam H. I guess that means there's nothing to talk about. Institute for Applied Neomatics. El Facility.
Yo, it is grim here, man. This re what? This is reconstruction. The chamber of the first companions. Where the first companions rested until the founder awoke them. The original chamber was disassembled in the early days of New Jerusalem. Oh, interesting. We could and we should. Institute for Applied Noematics. Alright, sorry, I'm just looking down this way. Or I go that way. Whoa! Look, it's 1K. Hey, 1K! Welcome to New Jerusalem. Should this the mayor be starting his speech. This is wild. Speech, speech, speech. This should be interesting. I just got born, but I didn't Please vote for this guy. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Yes. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. <laughs> the founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this earth. To that end, I cannot she wait to see where the this is going. Goal we have been going towards 1,000 new humans. And today we have. Oh dear, what's that? It's. Oh my god, it's the animation sequence from Abduction. Wait. People of New Jerusalem. I am Prometheus, and I will reveal that which was hidden. I am a sequel to the, the Alien franchise. You might find me not for it. You. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. What? 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 What, yeah, what the Athena was that? Do I have control? I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This is I don't know why I chose this as my voice. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I called you an idiot. Here's a thought. These people are humans Try for sure. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. Dude. If you're Dude, up for an this adventure, is excellent. Meet us at the conference room. Oh, audio's cutting in and out. We're back. Oh my god, this is so unnecessarily beautiful. This is incredible. This is amazing. Okay, so the writer for this game uh, Tom Juber, I think it is. Or Uber. J-U-B-E-R-T. Um, is that right? I think that's right. 
It's the same author as Subnautica, Talos Principle 1, The Swapper, Penumbra. Like a lot of really killer, killer stories. Excuse me, excuse me. Yep. Be constant, remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. What's broken now? You worked on all those? Yeah, I was the writer on all those. We are not above nature. Oh my god, th this is... This is insane. Oh, also FTL. Road FTL. We are the keepers. All right, listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. <laughs> I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonkay. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Yes, me lord. Great way okay. to start life in the city, huh? What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. <laughs> Dude, look at look at the reflection of the light up there. Oh, yeah. What was that? Alright, seriously. What the founder was that thing in the sky? Oh, we already figured out how to say it earlier on! Yes! We all saw it, right? I didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while Herman was talking, did I? I mean, it's always tempting. Nope. Yep. It was the sign. I don't think it was a sign. Out of the mouths of babes. Heck, this remarkable display of unimagined powers not be a sign. Get me off social media. Oh my god. Yeah, Randomino, go founder yourself. Oh yeah. Hello. Whoa! Hey, Absolutely Skyrim into that guy. Newbie, aren't ya? Number hey, one it's thousand. Doge. Six six six. I figured the dam would go dry before we reached the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines, which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors? They decided it's best that you're the last one ever made. I don't believe in feelings, I'm just a machine. Do you want to get on the non-cooperative path with me? Come on. Because that's how you get on the non-cooperative path. It's not fun. I guess I do believe in feelings after all. In fact, I'm feeling... Excited. Why? Uh, I don't see... Um, Last of Us. I don't know where the quote came from, but because life found a way. <laughs> So all things considered, I'm like to see this. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm lucky. This is yeah, this is the one. So the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. Now listen, this meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends, the kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Curious to meet these people. Of course you are. This is such you a wild know how departure. You use the, the first interface, game. right? Mm. I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. Oh, and fine. before you go, a word of advice: not everything around here is how it appears. No, I've gleaned that when the giant Prometheus appeared. I'm Prometheus. Join us at the table. You liked the first alien, you'll find that I have some good ideas, but that's about the end of it. Hey. Let's pick a spot, lie down, get comfy, and just don't sit on Wazdi. There you go, good cat. Okay, that's the Windows key. There you go. Alright, we're on, we're on the other arrow keys. That's fine. 
attend to briefing. Or don't. I love that this game exists. This Crow Team also worked on the Serious Sam games, and there's another game they worked on that I can't remember. I would like to preface this meeting by saying seven from I heaven. told you something would happen sooner or later, and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. Issue. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. But it can or for about 24 hours. It were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. No, we're always here to discuss philosophy. All right, can anyone fill me on what's going on? Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. Hermanubis. I'm sure this sort of <laughs> adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Uh, I actually think this is fascinating. Ha! See? Ha! A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. Okay. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. Oh, we recorded awesome. extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, All right. but the island is definitely interested in us. Sounds like a mystery worth investigating. I don't share As a fan your of mystic enthusiasm driven. for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now. Uh, and at know. this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. This guy is wordier than that wizard in Baldur's Gate 3. What was his name? Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Er, 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 Erlish Tron, what was his name? Charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure Not Gale. a balanced approach. You'll take El Minster, and that's right. As you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Yes. I'm in because I want to. I'm here. I'm here to play again. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out. BMW dude says, "Am I ready? the only person who liked Prometheus and Covenant?" Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. No. Right Have a look around. See what you make of the place. So, um, like. Prometheus, here's the thing. There are movies that I think are cool that are not uh, unbelievable. They're not incredible. Um, but, you know, they're, they're interesting. And I watched them. I was like, hey, this is pretty solid. I wasn't expecting anything, and I like this. And Prometheus, for me, Aliens is probably my number one favorite movie of all time. Probably number one. Um... So, like, when I went to go see Prometheus, I was, like, very, 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 very insanely excited and very hyped. I didn't like Alien Resurrection or Aliens 3, <laughs> but, 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 you know, still hyped. And the fact that it just didn't deliver with respect to that hype is the thing that bothered me, I think, the most. I think if I rewatched it and was like, this is just some sci-fi movie, I'd be like, wow, there's some really cool stuff happening here. So that's maybe a more accurate answer to what I, um, my take on Prometheus was. Uh, what'd you think of Aliens vs. Predator? I fucking liked that movie. That movie knew it was there to have a great time. Oh, I, I howled with laughter in that one. Although, the best of all the new ones... Um, the best of all the new ones is Prey, for sure. That movie ruled. Hello. What can I do for you, 1K? Uh, how do you feel about Byron? He 
is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. Copy I that. simply wish he could be more reasonable. Uh, how did you decide to become involved it in politics? It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had well, I used to be an actor on a fictional a television show, so my name recognition History was teaches incredible. us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal. The goal. A path to equilibrium, not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. All right, we're going back down. Hey, what's your vision of the future, dude? I believe we can exist quietly, happily, happily. without imposing ourselves on this world. Dude. Finding meaning within ourselves. Imposing yourself the on the world is the name of the social media us. game. I mean, like, I will say, I find it incredible that one of the most effective ways to get all big on Twitter is just to say something absolutely appalling. If you, and especially if you get into it in arguments and you try to dunk on people, and if your dunks are terrible, that's the way to really get explosively popular. Because if you dunk on someone excellently, that'll get some traction. But if you dunk on people and there's like misspellings and you're using facts that like are not real, oh, people love to re retweet, requote, tweet, blast that shit. It's great. All right, I have to go. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Yes, to a citizen. Hey, who are you? Hey, Jeremy. Hello, 1K. Hello. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But, but what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. Who are you, bro? I'm the mayor's chief aide. What do you do around here? All the things no one else wants to do. Cooking, cleaning. citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. Who was the guy in the Dresden Files series that was the person who would record information? He was like the archivist, and he always had ink all over his hands. What was that guy's name? And don't say any spoilers, because he he's a character that does things in the in the book series, and that's my favorite book series, so don't. Percy? Percival? Was it Percival? Peabody, that's what it was. Peabody, thanks, Buffy. Loved! That entire character and character arc. Our goal as custodians of New this is Jerusalem the Peabody of this is world. survival and stability. A oh, fair back, of course you would know. <laughs> proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of anything. What do you think of me? You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved, and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. Very good. What do you want? For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Thanks, bye. Well, I can explore the city by going this way. Oh, I'm going this way. Oh. Going back down that Lella elevator. Dude, I move so fast with the shift button, man. I feel like I'm a speedrunner. Attention all <clears throat> citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Thank you. Thank you. And may the Founder be with you. Founder be with you, and also with you. Oh, I get to actually explore the whole city? Oh, 
Are you just letting me, like... Yo, what? I can just... This is Damn Jam. Sign our petition for a public referendum. New Jerusalem needs new forms of energy generation. I'll talk to you on the way back in. I'm literally just gonna do a run through. Look at this. May the founder be with you. Oh, my frames are dropping. I don't even care. I'm, I got the zoomies, man. I'm 1K. This is so unnecessarily fantastic. It's just letting me wander around. No, it's not. It's lagging. Oh, now we're back. Yeah, scratch it. Scratch it. Frivolous behavior harms everyone. No Bitcoin in this city, let me tell you. Oh, hello there. You must be the long-awaited 1K. Hello. Lovely day for a walk, is it not? What about a lovely day for a sprint at full speed through content? It is indeed. I'm glad you think so. Our capacity to enjoy beauty is a big part of what makes us human. What is this place? The Alexandra Drennan Memorial. Are you interested in history? Yes. How wonderful. I'm not a full-fledged historian, mm. but I do consider myself a bit of an aficionado. Uh, is there a particular period of history you're most interested in? Hmm? An excellent question. I love the history There's of so widgets. There's so many interesting events to choose from. Obviously, the period just before the end of biological humanity is interesting. And not only from the standpoint of it being the time when we were, in a manner of speaking, conceived. In the birth but canal. Also because our ancestors were, like ourselves, at a crossroads. Yeah, Pez dispenser history for me. I'm trying to think of the thing that I know the most history about that is like a niche subject. Probably actually graphic adventure game development. That might be the, <laughs> the biggest one. I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but you are the living embodiment of this historical moment. In you, the goal was accomplished. Our growth is finished and we are complete. Or are we? Or are we? I seem to have been born um, on an interesting time. Indeed. The future is about to take <laughs> Billy Zane says, for good or Ill. Hey, I'm not Sal. You back I that off right now. I suspect it will be exhilarating, but painful as well. Tell me about the sculpture. Well, where do I even start? This, my dear 1K, is someone who could very well be considered the mother of us all. A remarkable scientist by the name of Alexandra Drennan, who is... also known as the Progenitor. Big capital nouns here. Who is Alexandra Drennan? A long time ago, this planet was inhabited by our ancestors, a species of bipedal mammals with unusually large brains. When a particularly lethal That's virus me. threatened to wipe out civilization, it was Alexandra Drennan and her team that decided to create this the program that would eventually is so result awesome. in the creation of our kind. Without her, you and I would not exist. And everything our ancestors had accomplished would be forgotten. <laughs> Billy Zane. <laughs> uh, why do we have a statue of her? To commemorate our past, our beginnings. This entire garden is a celebration of where we came from. In part, so that we remember the mistakes of the past, and in part, so that we may draw strength from those that came before us. Why do you admire her? By studying her writings and recordings, I have learned that Alexandra Drennan had immovable faith in okay. humanity, in our ability to persevere, in our curiosity, our bravery, our kindness. While we might not share I assume our this game is going to be biological characteristics, I'll let her finish I'd talk. like to think that we have inherited those other qualities. And I nope. admire Alexandra Drennan for keeping that faith, even when it must have, at times, been quite difficult. 
Okay, bye bye. Have a nice day. Um, I, I mean, I just think that this is marvelous, where there's just all this space to wander around in, and just look at and admire. I think this is marvelous, and, and I'm pretty sure this game is largely just going to be like puzzles and solving puzzles and stuff. But look at it, it's Vitra. I just can't believe the game actually lets me walk this far away. I mean, it's having some loading issues. What's this? Perfection is unchanging. What? An ancient human projectile weapon used in hunting, warfare, law enforcement, crime, and personal protection. Used en masse and used around the world. On average, ancient human kills hundreds of times the population in New Jerusalem per year. Dude. Puzzle pieces? A jigsaw puzzle. Ancient humans derived meaning and enjoyment from problem-solving activities, as noted by the progenitor Alexander Drennan. While the item on display was created for small children, ancient humans of all ages voluntarily engaged in such activities. Oh my god, it's a fucking toothbrush! The ancient human mastication apparatus required frequent maintenance. This device is theorized to be an advanced electrical tool for this purpose, although some scholars maintain that its actual use was ritualistic and intended to mark the sunrise and sunset. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Billy Zane's like, other scholars think that it was used for something else. <laughs> it's just, it's just an enormous eye descends and winks at me. What is this? This is, this is a book. Printed edition of the complete works of Stratton of Stagira. Materialist philosopher who defined the Talus principle. And by Athanasios T. Huber. What's this? It's a fork! A simple utensil used to transport nutrients to an ancient human's mouth. Often found in conjunction with a knife and spoon. What's this? Oh, it's a microscope! Humans invented complex magnification devices in order to better understand the component parts of the world they inhabited. Oh, dude. This game is aw It's so good! Founders blessings. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? What up, Purple? Dude, it's you. <laughs> it's me. K1K. Spread up. So nice to meet you, dude. Oh, All right. I saw you in the completion day stream. Hey, hey. Have you checked out all this ancient stuff? If you see that door over there, it just doesn't want to open. Um, if you get that reference, then you're a true fan. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. Me too! Right on! This is amazing, it's isn't amazing, it? amazing, man! When you go on that expedition, crush it, my man! Alright, tell me about yourself. I'm almost as new as you are. I'm 99A, so I've only been around for a year or so. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Ugh. Pretty cool, though! <laughs> right? I mean, fucking sick! It's totally gnarly. I'm stoked to exist, bro. Not sure I used that right. <laughs> oh, so good. What do you think about the goal? I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. <laughs> I mean, our ancestors of trust. did sort of mess up, right? So we should probably take it easy with the expanding of stuff. Yeah. Plus, Plus. see that trippy sky projection thing? <laughs> that was some freaky stuff, man. <laughs> Just seems safer to stay in the city. <laughs> It's definitely better to be careful. For sure, dude. I mean, when I woke up, I just had a chat with Neith, and that Neith. was overwhelming enough. You got the welcoming committee, and then the giant talking man in the sky. Ugh. Tell me about these human art. Your, your diction is unusual, why not? Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack would give me a bit of confidence, help me stand out, you know? I'm not sure it's working. I literally look like a fucking moron, bro. Honestly, based on everything I know of ancient human culture... Culture? I think he's a ghost. No. There's... there's maybe you're right. Oh, maybe it's... Aliens. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was hoping you'd say I'm wrong. Fuck. Ghosts are creepy, dude. What is it? 
What are you, what are you trying to scratch? What's your foot doing? Did you kick yourself in the head? All right. What's a dude? Dude is an old human word that means an excellent person. I like to use it because I think we should all be excellent to each other. <laughs> This game, this game's fucking a 10 right there, let me tell you. They're pretty neat, huh? My favorite is that thing called a toilet. Our ancestors had to use it like uh, three times a day to do a memory dump. And if they didn't, <laughs> yeah. they freaking exploded! <laughs> Imagine having to deal with that sort of anxiety all the time. Bummer, huh? Yeah, that's why it's hard to be a streamer. Sometimes I'm mid-detonation and I gotta go live. Right. Right. Before you go, dude. dude. Uh, uh, maybe you can help me? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm not sure I should keep this voice back. What do you think? You're 1K. You're special. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. Oh, are you kidding me? Stick with it. It's unique. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, dude. Tubular. Tubular and bejujular. Wait, what are these? Are these? Oh, they're coins. Currency was an ancient human medium of exchange which played a significant role in the systems of labor and resource distribution. Tense conflicts sometimes erupted over the possession of these objects, leading to injuries or even death. Oh, this is all glass here. Okay, what's this? <gasps> it is a football. An inflatable sphere used in the popular ancient human game known as football or soccer. This game was played around the entire globe and aroused great passion in its followers. It also often simulated digitally, most notably in the form of football glory. 1994 CE. All right, move your little tail. Oh, dude, okay, okay. A piece of sanitary hardware used to dispose of biological excretions resulting from food and water intake required to power ancient human biology. Such hardware was connected to a vast network of subterranean pipes leading to wastewater treatment facilities. Classic example of ancient infrastructure used to control their impact on the environment. What's that? This is a a massage aid. Oh, okay, okay. Used in ancient humans to combat muscle fatigue and other physical ailments, such as existence, common to biological organisms is the word that's written. This prevented pain, the ancient human equivalent of error code 704, 705, and 921 to 932. Uh, all right. Goodness. <laughs> that's, that was a massage aid, friends. That was, and it's not anything other than that, Matt, that, yeah. <gasps> oh! A cat's quite coarse. <laughs> That's just... One more time. Oh, yeah. That beautiful sandpaper coat <laughs> on a cat. Oh! It's you. Oh, hi. Number 1000. Yeah. Today is completion day, isn't it? Yeah, I... Sorry, I turned off all the streams. Yeah, no, I... Founder bless you. Founder, founder bless you, too. Uh, you know, took it all the way to completion just by me today. Yeah. Not really, no. No, but no. But I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. I mean, go ahead, tell me what's, what's wrong. You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. Clown. What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? A sense that life is actually worth living? <sighs> that's a little... That's a little much for a Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Um, if this is me... Because uh, this is pursuing my own self-interest. When I first looked at this, I thought it was pursuing my own interests. But this is it. This is it for Exactly. Me. Love is our only point of access to the divine. 
No, our I just... only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I just like loving my I'm cat. I'm absolutely certain. Like, this is it. But... This, this is what I mean when I say I like love. Right here. I just... I love you, Despy. Yeah. Oh, do you have a meow? I love you. Oh, you're trying to meow, but do you see your little mouth going... <laughs> but what? But the right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are oh. who I'm looking for, and if we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. How's everyone's Thursday going? Are you all right? Oh my god. Excuse me. Oh my founder. Well, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds tough, but in good news, there's a massage aid over in the museum down by that uh, little pond area. <laughs> and I really think that it can be helpful to stave off the loneliness. Um, <laughs> um, you deserve to find love. We all do. If you believe that one, Kay then stand up for it. You're important, and people will listen to you far more than they'll listen to someone like me. Thanks for the chat. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, meow. By the way, um, if Despy ever does one of those, eh, uh, you need to let me know if you can hear it, because it makes me infinitely happy to know that I'm not the only one who gets to hear that one. Dude, I'm devastated to think that 299 has been waiting 701 births. And it's a nope every time. How sad is that? I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to just pity my way into a relationship with that guy. This is beautiful. I can't believe the game is letting me do this. This is, I, I feel like this is a very bold sequence of choices for a game. Yep, clean it, clean it, get it, Desper. Get it, baby girl. Help, 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 help. I mean, I literally can't believe I can wander this far around. Who's this? Hey, 1K. What up, Sirius444? Oh. Hi. Are we friends? We're friends. Speculating on the meaning of this Prometheus figure is premature until we can agree on its nature. Lenurx. You already have a theory. Crier. <laughs> I know it's beyond any projection technology I'm aware of. If it wasn't us, Jean. it must be alien. Ah, très oui, très très oui. Ah, c'est possiblement. Exactly. We've shown them we can live in peace and they've decided to make contact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why don't you go One cry key, about a crier? We'd appreciate your thoughts on this. Now we've achieved the goal, fresh perspectives like yours will be increasingly hard to come by. I'd love to get a quote from you for this evening's newsletter. Speculation aside, 1K, is there anything we can know for sure about this Prometheus? That The movie was okay as long as you went in with no expectations. Oh my god, look at them all looking at me. This is what it feels like to be on camera. Oh my god, my public speaking anxiety is kicking into high gear right now. Fear to be human, whatever's inside the city. It can't have come from the city. I've been alive for three hours, and these are my opinions. Oh my god, Jacques is number 420? Oh, oh, oh. That's possible, but you ah, can't be oui, What we do know is that it was human in appearance. What does that suggest to us? Uh, 
its origin must also be hume oh we can probably understand its meaning that's what i think i tend to agree thanks lenurx the apparition also directed us to an island outside the city what can we assume from that we must trace directions with suspicion we may learn more about Fawn's directions We, 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 we may learn more by doing it, because I'm going to do it. That was my conclusion as well. I don't think Linux sure that we let actually thinks these things. To create a projection of such clarity and magnitude. <sighs> Can I say, that, here's a technique that I, I don't, I, I, I fully reject. I fully reject. Um, there is this notion, um, I don't know, if, what was the name of this stupid book? It's like the 47 Laws of Power. It's like, always take credit, uh, never take blame. You know, it's, it's like these really stupid laws. And I, I've heard, I've heard, and I'm sure some of you have experienced this sort of social dynamic, where sometimes there is a question asker. The person who asks questions and expects answers. Like, when you're in a meeting. When you're in a meeting, and you're trying to work on a problem, and someone goes, hold on. Let's just take a big step back. What's the main problem we're trying to solve here? Right? This kind of question asking technique. Now, th th there is some sensation you might have felt if you've been around someone who keeps asking you questions. What's the problem we're trying to solve? You give a suggestion. But that doesn't make any sense because of this and this and this. So like, what else would it be then? They keep, they keep just putting the burden back on you. You answer the question, you answer the question, you answer the question. And, I, I have heard of and seen people that do this as a means coming across as in charge. I ask questions, you provide an answer, I poke holes in it. I ask another question, you give an answer. <sighs> it just doesn't, it's not good enough. We need a better solution. You know, one of these people, excuse me, don't bite me, don't, ah. Uh. And Lenurx is reminding me of that. What do you think? Let's me answer. Yeah, I agree. I've seen, there's another thing I've seen people do. They don't want to put their thoughts out first. They want someone else to do it so they can agree. So they can agree. What do you think about that? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. I can't stand people that do this often. Obviously, everyone does this some. Everyone asks questions, hears responses, and then goes, oh, okay, no, actually, no, that makes sense, I agree. That's like very normal. It's very normal for someone to say, like, oh, let's take a step back, let's try to figure this, figure this out, and what are we doing? Try to get clarification, that's fine. But it's the kind of person that never puts their foot out first and says, here's what I think, without anyone else speaking first. I, I, yeah. It's the correct path for promotions. Yeah, the people promoting are dumbasses. Uh, all right, uh, must have been someone outside the city. It could possibly be someone in the city. More technologically advanced than we are. Precisely. And that's something we can change. See, she's just responding to what I'm what saying. Makes you I'm the one that made it. Projection at all. How do we know it wasn't just a mass hallucination? I considered some kind of bug in our code. But if so, it would have to be shared by all of us. So, we're speculating again. <sighs> We've locked in the premises. I'd like to hear one kid's best guess. Locked in. Uh, I don't think one of us is behind this. Ah, uh, probably sort of ancestors are still alive out there. Beyond that, I really can't say. Can I quote you on that? Yes, but it's just a theory. Theories are all we can reasonably have right now. Though I'm sure that won't come between Cryer and a sensational headline. Well, thanks all for hashing this out with me. Let's hope the mayor signs off on exploring this island. I only wish I could join the expedition. Why can't you join the expedition? If oh. Melville's going, someone has to stay behind to keep the lights on. I'm not letting Pellegrino near the dam. Otherwise, the water the will get too we bubbly. Speak, we'll have a bit more data to go on. I want to go in here. Oh, who are you? Oh, wow. It's you. 
Oh wow! One K. Oh fuck! The incarnation of the gold. Oh, God. oh man, this is exciting. This oh, is God. more exciting than I thought it would be. Where's the massage aid? What does it feel like? Do you know where the founder is? Do you know who Prometheus is? Can you tell me what to do with my life? Can you can you tell me what to do with my life? Is? Whoa 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 whoa! Hold on. Sorry, it's just such an honor to meet you. You know. Oh. Hey, can I have your digital signature? I have the mayor, Rand, Linux, Kaneda, and all Kaneda? of the first companions. Except Yemo and Sarabai, of course. Tetsuo! Kaneda! Yes! Yes, you... is! Hey, can I ask you a question? Just one question, I promise. It's gonna be four fucking questions. I already know this. I've, are you kidding me? I meet people at conventions all the time. One quick question, day nine. Five minutes go by. And you know what? It's great. I like talking to people. That's fine. But why do you say one? You have like 40 questions. Just be like, Sean, I have an uncountably infinite number of questions. Here are some of them. That's totally fine. I used to make the prefab wall parts that we used to build living quarters. Got good at it, too. But now that the goal is complete, I don't know what to do with myself. So I asked the wisest people in town. Mm -hmm. The mayor told me I should do whatever the city needs most. Helga said I should do whatever makes me happy. Yep. I think that's what she meant anyway. And Cornelius told me I need to figure out who and what I'm invested in. You're the culmination of the founder's will. Yeah. Tell me, what should I do? Let me begin by saying all those people gave the adult form of stop fucking asking me the question. This is a really nice technique I think a lot of people should employ, which is a pseudo-inspiring yet not too emotionally severe way to just get someone to focus on something other than talking to me because I'm busy. Oh, what do you want to do? I'll just do what makes you happy. Well, I don't know what makes me happy. Well, I can't help you with that. Bye. Look, there it is. Um, and my actual answer is I think this guy should find uh, number 299 and just give 299 a life partner. Uh, Helga's right. You should find something that makes you happy. You're going to do what the city needs most. Everybody else is right. Figure out what your connection to the city is. I was literally just born. Are you kidding me? I just fell out of the proverbial womb here. Um, yeah, Helga's right. Find something that makes you happy. Thank you for the advice, 1K. It means a lot. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not doing the game. What? Replica of gargoyle asset found in the simulation. Gargoyles were grotesque. Apotropaic symbols? Apotropaic? I don't really know how to pronounce that word. Apotropaic symbols? Common in the Middle Ages? The most famous historical gargoyle is remembered in the ancient phrase Keith, David, and Goliath, which describes two indomitable opponents who will surrender. This is what happens when you give someone an arm and a leg. All right. Dude, these are all the replica parts from the simulation. All right, I've explored the city enough. I'm beelining to go to puzzles. Puzzles, 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 puzzles. I mean, this is marvelous. What do you think that was? Puzzles, 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 puzzles. Founder, bless you. Founder, bless you. Bless you right in the Athena. I did say I was going to talk to you. Hello, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. We're mad about I things. Just we have a, a sign. moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? Sure. Sure. I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. What's the problem? Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some geriatric unreliable generators? solar panels. Is that where the none of which elderly are on mouse wheels? Basic needs. And if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. Is it really that bad? It's far worse than most people realize. We urgently need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power, mm -hmm. or we will be in serious trouble. 
Uh, yeah, my digital signature. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Why a referendum and not an election? Well, an election would be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Uh, do you work at the dam? No, I help run the public transit system, but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. We can't just wish them away. What do you make of Prometheus? Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's going to start affecting us. All right, tell me more about Byron. In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Don't get it. Come on, Byron. Good luck with everything. Who's ready for puzzles? Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Go, 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 go. I still cannot believe the game just let me run around through all that stuff. Mm. All right, so for those of you joining, there was a puzzle sequence at the beginning, and then I awoke in this city. I was quickly brought to a mission to go investigate an island because some crazy stuff happened. And I could have gone straight to the island. Instead, I decided to wander around the city because it was optional, and I love options. But for now, it's time to go to the island and investigate the source of this Prometheus. So, what's the verdict? Are we going? <laughs> <laughs> no beating around the bush here. The game is like, yeah, you're going. All right, all right, Crow Team, you got a certain, okay. I guess Byron was pretty convincing, hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll what? see. I just wonder how much of the city is gonna fall apart while I'm gone. Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. <laughs> Saved you from the elevator. Uh, nice to meet you. People call me 1K. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. You Pleasure. Fuck off. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Embark on the expedition. Everyone's just been sitting there. Playing Neo Candy Crush Saga. Hold on to your hats. We really need to update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. We have a chance. Hold to on to your butts. Here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and dream of building new cities. Let's see if we can rekindle that flame a little. All right. Factory must this grow. This is going to be a long journey. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Nighty night. Normally, for that, I just take melatonin. You have chosen a dangerous path. Oh. A path that will demand sacrifice. Wakey, wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Status report, please. We hit some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. We're approaching the center of the island now. This should be the location of the largest of the artificial structures we detected. How large are we talking? Do we have precise measurements? It should be coming into view just about... Whoa. <laughs> it's big. You can say that again. Oh, yeah. That is a bloody mega structure. Oh, if I had yeah. a spine, it'd be shivering. Ha! I knew this would be exciting. Yakut! Oh, find okay. us a place to set down. On it. This game is only 30 bucks, dude. 
It really is incredible. Mm. Remember to turn on streaming, everyone. We're getting some hitches, we're getting some hitches. Have I ever mentioned that I hate flying? If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. And... touchdown. Oh, we're done with the prologue. Everyone turn on right, your streaming. Everybody. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of, well, everything. Melville, tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Excellent. Then we can all go. Am I lost already? This one? I always want to see my intense fall damage. Nice. Man, that's so cool. Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. Like, I mean, let, let, uh, allow me to get on a horse. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Like, Schematics, blueprints, talk about a place a would be great. that I want to go. I feel like uh, games often do things at like this scale, where you're wandering around and you're like, ooh, what's that? But there's something altogether different about, holy fuck, what the fuck is that? That's so, that's awesome. Like, I want to go there. I want to get in the, I want to get in the pyramid. I know, Byron. All right, cliffs should be treated as real cliffs. It's just so unrestrained, the exploration. All right, let's actually stop farting around. Hey, 1K, check out these coordinates. Do I, have, do I have a map? Dude. 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 Oh my god. It, I, I, what were the reviews of this game like? I mean, I was going to play no matter what, so I didn't look. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a couple things like that. It's just like a Korean drama. If I look at the title and it sounds interesting, I'm watching all 26 episodes of that. I do, I do find puzzle games, because puzzle games are quite polarizing, just by virtue of them being puzzle games, where if you get stuck on a first-person shooter, it's very clear that you can aim incrementally better and dodge incrementally better. There is this incremental progression that you can do. But in puzzle games, if you're stuck, you're stuck, and you do not get to advance. And I think that that is not a problem with puzzle games. That's just a property of them. You know, it's like, oh, a property of card games that sometimes you draw poorly. That's not a problem with them. That's just literally the property of having cards. And so I feel like any puzzle game, I just add 10 points on, on Metacritic no matter what. Dude. 
This game is it's so delightful. Dude, look at this just enormous pyramid. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You know what would be special? An explanation. I mean, I mean, like, I want to cry. It's so good. It's so, it, it, you know, the, 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 there's a sort of couching of these experiences in the fact that the game has told me that it is a puzzle game. And the game has alluded to me that there will be questions that will pay off with interesting mysteries that give more questions. Like, think about the first sequence of the game. I go through the basic puzzles. It shows me that its mechanics are puzzle game. I exit, learn about the world, and suddenly there's this insane Prometheus being? What the hell is that? And then I get this beautiful city that wasn't even the answer to the mystery of what the hell is that? And now we're seeing more mysterious things? I mean, it's just like, there are games and shows and media that present interesting questions and then don't really do anything interesting with them. They're just trying to draw along your interest. But this game has already demonstrated that it does pay off. And of course, Talos Principle 1 already demonstrated that it does pay off. So that makes seeing things like this even more mysterious and delightful. Like, what is this structure here? What is that structure there? Do I have a map or anything? Yeah, yeah, needless to, I love that description. It, it tells you that solving these puzzles will be worth it. So it doesn't look like there's a map, it's just the sort of compass from the other game. Hey, look, look, look at that icon on the compass of the ship. So here's the Golden Gates, here's where we're supposed to be going for that. So I'm gonna wander around this way first. This sort of looks like a temple. This is like... Bitrate getting crunchy. The game is running buttery smooth on my PC. I have had a couple moments where I've gone, oh, there's some hitches, and all those ones I have mentioned. Outside of the ones that... Outside of those, it has been running amazing. Amazingly, amazingly, amazingly. And there is things like you can see these grass textures just popping in. You know. Performance is good. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Lots of trees destroying the bit, right? Ha ha ha! Take that! Yeah, it'll get a little crunchy. Yeah, when it, when it comes to, like, foliage, uh, your encoders just begin to uh, puke, puke aggressively. Yo, this is... Come on. Come on, that's so cool. Dude, get out of here. 
That looks great. Oh, Toast Bones, I still need to play Cocoon. Thank you. Just bring it up to me every time you see it. Yeah, no, this... Brad Simpson... Uh, excuse me, Brad Sampson, you are exactly speaking my language. This reminds me so much of the uh, design of Riven. All right, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to compassing. This seems different from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, one K. Interesting. Interesting. Ignore it. It's down here. Looks like they were running some sort of experiment here. Oh, dude. Huh. So, green and red make blue. Blue and green make red. Huh? Yes, unbelievably small text. Fantastic. A fragment from Stratton's On the Universe. Amentas. I grant you, then, that man is indeed like Talos, and cannot escape his material nature despite the claims of metaphysics, as you have said many times. Nicomachus. <laughs> Too many, perhaps, Stratton. Repetition is the mother of teaching, at least when the students are hard-headed. But what does this tell us about nature of the universe? Which is what we were discussing. That is the next question we must undertake to answer. We begin with a... <coughs> gross. We begin with the self, because that is what determines our existence as individuals. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. The citizen lives in the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. So we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world, and ask, if man is like machine, could it be that the universe is similar in nature? And if so, what follows from that fact? Uh-oh. Dulcy 4? 50 subs, Dulcy 4? 50? For any of you who don't know, Dulcy 4 gave 50 subs yesterday. That's 100 subs. Thank you, Dulcy 4. Thank you warmly. On the day when I'm playing the sequel to one of my favorite games of all time, mwah! everyone compliment Dulcy however you so desire. Noema Project 1. Ah, version of successfully deployed. Trials this, insufficient. <laughs> Testing failed, grid too unstable. Schematic? Sending schematic to Melville. Done. All right. Much love, Dulcy. Thanks again. And also thanks for the 85 month sub in a row. Thanks, 1K. Let's see what we've got here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it crashed. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. All right, I'm just going to head right back. Shader 3 says, I never played the first one. Does this one continue the story from where the last one left off? I might describe it as Talos Principle was a story here, and Talos Principle 2 goes one layer outside of it. Is it 
a, kind of an odd reply, but it's almost like if the Tales Principle 1 was the story of events happening in a house, Tales Principle 2 is the events happening in that town. Which I think is really beautiful. Good, take control with Wait, what? Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly net? So this is... Huh. Dude, I want to go look at it. I want to go look at it. Oh my god. It's one thing when characters are talking to each other about how wondrous and amazing things are. And it's another when the game makes you feel wonder and scale like this thing is huge doesn't matter if they were like huh that's not that big i the player i'm gonna be like this is big this is huge <laughs> like oh my god it's so good all right continuing on to the game going in I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Dude. Lost puzzles, gold puzzles, lost labs, stars. So I'm here. I'm on east. Mega structure. That audio. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the information information we have on the map screen check it thanks sorry my bad <laughs> it's just loading so <laughs> i can already tell this is going to be in my top three games of the year of course perfect your forearms look yoke yeah, they're huge, Apo Koala. How you doing, by the way, Apo? This place is magnificent. Look at that tower. I wonder what it's for. Wow. The sense of space and scale, they just ratchet it up like crazy. I mean, I, 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 even though there's nothing there, I like that it just lets you explore this. I mean the scale's incredible. Yeah, this this is this is a very Elden Ring kind of moment for me as well. I completely agree, Dream Krungle. Alright, Uno Momento.
I mean, I'm gonna go in. And now, now I'm getting some, some frame issues, but I really don't care. Ape Ball says, when are they gonna make base building puzzle games, is my question. Has there been a base building puzzle game? Two? I see, so these will probably open when I do section one and section two. Is this a new PC? Friday, Dulcie. Friday. Taking most of the day to do that. Is that a puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. 1K, go ahead. I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. So... If I understand correctly, this should make a green. Yeah, because if you use two colors, it'll produce the third. That's what it was showing me in the other one. So if I connect red, or excuse me, blue and green to here, it should make red. Obviously, I don't need to do that. I need to do that. Huh. Okay. Oh, and there's literally another one right there. Alright. So, let's do... It's very good. It's very good. I'm very bad. So, and we're now going to mix this and this to make that. Progress wheel? Whoa, I'm reading an enormous energy spike. It's another particle cloud. Oh my god. It's headed for the lake. Can I see it? Oh, it's yeah, there it is. I think the cloud's been absorbed by some sort of device. Fascinating. Melva? Yeah, yeah. I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff. Dude. Reconnection, okay. So over here is where the end of the puzzle is. And then through here is another reflector thingy. So if we need to uh, turn on red, we're gonna need just green and blue, and we connect it to red. Two of one color makes a third color. Now this says red, but if I attach this, this, does it? Oh, that's fucking wild. So let me make sure I understand this properly. If I go from green to blue and just connect it to this thing. And then if I go from here, oops. If I just connect this straight through that, okay, because this is an RGB converter. This is not a reflector. I see. So we have a reflector, so we have a converter, and we have a converter. So what we need to do is we need to make... Um, this is red, so what we need to do is we need to take this one and give this a green input. And then this one, we need to add a blue input to it, and then we can latch it there, and it will produce red. I'm 
literally so happy. Dude. game. This is a good time for me to take a break and use the restroom. I... Uh, I mean, this has been one of the best first two hours of a game I have played in an insanely long time. Woo! And you might be like, what about Baldur's Gate 3? Well, I'd already played the start of Baldur's Gate 3 in 2020 when it first dropped in early access. Mmm. Mmm. Unoriginal Han says, go memory dump before you explode. <laughs> Dude! And yes, for those of you who are curious, uh, if you go to the, the gameplay, it might not be here. Maybe it's under video. But there's, uh, yeah, they, they have colorblind modes. Um, you can do, you know, any any varying quality of colorblind mode that you want uh, with also colorblind intensity. 